So, I've been doing lots of research into breathing and how the human body operates on a core, super detailed, extremely specific, fundamental level that nobody has ever reached before in their whole entire lives. I need to show you the amazingness I've stumbled across. Let me just quickly load up a test subject so I can give you a proper demonstration, okay? What sort of narrator would I be if I didn't? Ah, here we go. This one looks good enough. Wave hello, Subject 427. Wait, no. Yeah, that, that's the wrong game. Just forget about that. Let's give you a new name, hey? How about... James? No, you don't like James. Why not? James is such a cool name. What do you mean anyone with the name James is an utter idiot? Now you're just being rude, okay? Fine, fine, fine. I'll refer to you as Thing then. Good. Apologies if this little idiot offended you. If your name's James, please know, you are absolutely fabulous and I love you to pieces. Now, let's go over the basics of breathing. Step one, open your mouth. Not that wide, just open your mouth like a normal person, okay? Like a middle between that horror you have right now and your mouth being shut. There you go. That's a good amount of mouth openness. Step two. Inhale deeply, taking in all that sweet O2. See how easy that was? Now that lovely oxygen is reaching your brain and hopefully preventing you from going totally brain dead. Or maybe not in this case, but anyways. Step three. Exhale. Oh, lovely. Very, very good. For being such a good subject and breathing correctly and not managing to mess it up, you can get a hat. Oh, look at that hat. Now that is a pretty cool hat. Even has a goose on it. Only the best of the best subjects get a goose hat. I wish I had that hat. It's such a cool hat. That kind of reminds me of the times where I used to collect hats. It was a bit of a weird time in my life now that I think about it, but I used to go around collecting lots of different hats because I loved the way they made my gigantic head look. Can you be quiet, please? I'm trying to tell a story here. Have some manners. Huh. Anyways, where was I? Oh, right. Let me tell you about my favorite hat of all time. I named it Gilbert because of how amazing it was. Gilbert was such a brilliant orange hat that my great, 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 great mother Nan made me. Oh, oh, you're joking. Now, now you can breathe. Sorry about that. I kind of got distracted for a second. It's okay. Just take deep breaths. I, sorry for forgetting about you, but at least you know the story about my hat now. Uh, I, I know that's not really compensation, but oh well, just deal with it. Let, let, let's move on to the fancy part. Yeah. Step four. Whenever you breathe, move your hands up with the motion of your breath. This is the magical part that most people get wrong. It turns breathing into something magical where you get to experience it. So please, inhale and move your hands up while doing it. Perfect! You see how much nicer that feels, right? Oh, good to hear you agree. Absolutely everyone should start breathing like this. It makes you look so sophisticated. Wait, what's happening? Just, 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 just breathe. It's okay. Take deep breaths. Uh, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Are you okay? Uh, breathe. No. Oh. Oh. Is it dead? Are you dead? If you're dead, continue lying there. Ah, so I think it's dead. Well, that's just great. I lost another test subject. Uh, where, where is it? Where's the file for this subject? Uh, oh, it must be here. Come on, where is it? What? One of the attributes of this one is asthmatic. So they literally cannot breathe correctly. 
How can you be so bad at being a human that you fail at one of the fundamental things of being alive? Breathing! Step five. Let's pretend that never happened and go on as normal. So, that happened. Oops. Mistakes get made. People die. It's not a big deal at the end of the day, right? Either way, I think we've learned a lot today. That asthmatic people are some of the most useless types of people there are. Because in a world full of problems, they suck at the easiest thing. One of those such problems was a time I had to help abuse and get rid of an alien. It kind of went better than this, but I'll let you be the judge of that. And I'll see you over there.